Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to Dave's shop. Well, what can I say? It's, you know, that time of year where you don't really have any major projects going. So you just take some old wood. Stuff you have laying around. Extra pieces. And you make something. What did I make? Well, I made a simple shop box. The reason I call it a simple shop box is it's going to be in the shop. Now, what all do you need to make something like this? Well, beyond the fact that you need your saw so you can trim the pieces to the right size. You need at least one, if not two, clamps. I use two. I like my speed square because it helps me line up the sides. And because it's really thin wood, I use my staple gun. Now, it's a pretty easy box. And as you note, just three staples on each. The back just gives some extra rigidity. It has a simple cross on it. It's just something easy to do. And because it's a shop box, I didn't go ahead and finish it because it's just going to have some of my extra stuff sitting in it. And it's going to go back over there in the dark. So, because I'm sure everybody's curious, of course, that's the shop vac. And right over there on that 2x4 area is where the box is going to go. I'm slowly but surely making more room back there so that we can have more stuff work. I like doing little projects. Now, some of the other projects I have in line, I have a cabinet I'm going to be making. I've got some wood there for it. I've got some more wood there for it. I've got a nice piece there. And of course, I've got the rest of the wood over there. That all has to be prepped and stained. That's going to be probably a next week project. Um, those are just going to be simple cabinets. They're nothing major. But similar to this old piece here, all it is is a couple of pieces squared up. Leave it open so I can put a door on it later. Um, that's going to be something for my office upstairs. Now, why make something like this? I mean, you can just go and buy something like that. Well, that's great for small stuff. But I still have a number of things that are just sitting here. And I'm running out of room on my pegboard. Now up there is where spare wood usually goes. I've used a lot of the major lumber and I've got some more stuff to do. Now as you note, I've got my saw down there. Got this one up here and I'm like, I need to find a better way to do that because I you know, hurt my back. So I'm not going to be picking that up all the time. So I'm making a table for it. It's going to be just like this one, except for it's going to match up at either end. And I'll be able to plug it in, have the vacuum going directly to it so I can use larger pieces of wood and be able to fix it up. With some assistance, aka had someone do it, my table saw is downstairs and it's in the upright position. So whenever I need it, I can pop it up quickly. It takes almost no energy. Now... If you have questions, please let me know. These are pretty short. They're pretty easy. Um, to get these to work, just a quick tutorial. Let's see if you get so I can see the whole thing. You would push. Let me take the battery out first. The battery does not like coming out. It's an older one. So remove the battery. Now you might ask why remove the battery? Well, if I'm showing you how to do something and I don't want to accidentally do it, it's sort of like, you know, taking the magazine out of the weapon. This piece right here, that has to be pushed in, otherwise it will not fire. And this little piece here, that's what actually hits the staple out. So it has to be set, then locked, and then fire. And it literally is just like that. You're going to pull once, it's going to go click, pull up, put back, click again, and it will fire. Now you can go deeper or shallower. I've got it per pretty set deep. And it doesn't really take much. It's done in moments. These are real easy batteries. I've got some better ones, but 
I've had that one for years and it works. And if they don't seat all the way, of course you always have hammers. Um, some of these need a little extra seat, but that's it. I think it looks pretty nice for just a cheap box. Hmm. What was I planning to put in it? I have a number of tools that are that size. I had nowhere to put them. Hmm. What do I do? I put them in a box so I can just pull them out. Now, if you notice, I don't know if you can or not, I've marked my bottom, my top, my left, my right. Reason why? Well, which is going to look best for what area? Because this is the way 90% of the people are going to see it. They're not going to know what it is unless they get there. And they're, oh, wow, look, all the tools. You want to make things so that they're functional. Now, yes, we do work on fine furniture. This piece here is all set. The person who originally wanted it doesn't want any more, so I'm trying to figure something else to do with it. It's probably going to end up being a wine table for the wife. I've done a couple of these already. They're really easy. When I work on it again, I'll go ahead and bring it up. Now, if I wanted, I could finish this up, put some nice stabilization on it. But because it's a shop piece, I don't feel it needs it. Now, when I'm doing that for my office upstairs, that would need it because I want to have doors on it and I want it looking very fancy because it's going to be built in in case I ever decide to leave. And many a time people go, oh, I'm going to live in this house forever. And then 10, 15 years later, you move. It's all something to do. I hope you guys enjoy. Have a great day.